VIP access. VIP access with Aniko on Africa Loud. My name is Aniko Owoko. I'm an event and music curator. I'm also a PR professional and a music publicist. I'm right here at Gote Institute, Nairobi. Today was a wonderful day. We just launched the Jam Industry Talks, the very first edition. This series of talks is curated by me, and I'm very proud that Gote Institute Nairobi has supported this initiative. We'll be having conversations on um, issues that are affecting artists and creatives in the industry. In Kenya and in Africa, we'll be coming up with sustainable solutions, and I'll be putting together groups of experts who can actually talk to you interact with us and educate us on how to move our industry forward. This is exactly how the event went. Through candid panel discussions on key topics that affect the ever-changing creative um, sector, the interactive sessions are geared towards providing solutions to help move Kenya's industry forward while bringing world-class professionals into a forum to share success stories in adaptable winning formats. Because I feel that you're asking what can you do in where the becomes payment becomes so you need to look at that ju uh, jurisdiction clause, which law is applicable, and then you enforce it in that country. So for example, if it says that the law applicable here is India, so you need to enforce your rights in, uh, in India. So that means you need to appoint uh, to get a lawyer in India or in Kenya who now make, uh, pursue you, your payments uh, in, in India, because again, the laws are territorial. Um, what, yes, copyright is different in different jurisdictions. For example, in the US, um, the copyright length is 70 years, not 50 years, like, like most of uh, the rest of the world, where you, as an author, it's um, the life of the author plus 70 years. These publishers sign an agreement where you vest your copyrights because they cannot go and negotiate over works that are not theirs. They, they, Long ago, we used to have them transfer, you transfer your copyrights to them so that they can enter into an agreement with any other entity to be able to get a publishing deal for you. But right now we have a administrative publishing, admin publishing, whereby you do not have to vest your, your copyrights to them. They can just do admin work, get the deals for you then you pay them a percentage without having to transfer your rights. Standing right here next to David Kate, who's a professional and expert when it comes to matters, copyright and intellectual property. He's in court every day following a case or lodging new cases. What's up, David? Thank you very much. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Very well. I'm enjoying the event. It's good. I've enjoyed the session that we've had and I'm looking forward to more. Right? Yes, absolutely. Actually, I wanted to ask you what was your what's what's your feedback, right? We had a great event, very interactive, many questions. What was your takeaway or the best moments of this event? Uh, I've actually reached a point now I'm thinking we are going to have uh, artists who are more informed. And as we continued with the session, the hall continued to fill up. And it, yeah. it makes me happy to see that people now are interested in protecting their works. And uh, that is the way to go. Fantastic. Thank you so much. For those who are wondering, how do I get to Kate? I might want to have a consultation. How can we easily reach out to you? You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me at my offices, JTM Macquarie Advocates. We are on uh, Milimani Road, Ambassador Court Suit E1. We just wrapped up the first the Jam Industry Talks conversations. Today we were discussing intellectual property, publishing, and legal parameters. And that's why I was standing here with this amazing lady who's an expert in the field of intellectual property. Among other things, she's also a musician. Hi, Wandiri Karemi. Uh, hi, Aniko. <laughs> how are you? I'm very good, thank you. So, um, how do you introduce yourself in a few words? Musician who studied law. <laughs> I love that. So, today we're discussing intellectual property, um, publishing, and legal parameters, we had a lot of questions, comments, contributions, and a good discussion, including um, some members of the Kenya Copyright Board. Um, what was your experience being part of this panel? First of all, I was really happy that we had so many people. It's, it's really refreshing to see that we've grown from the place where we used to be 20, 30 in a room to filling a room, having discussions about IP, but also to hear the work Kekobo has done, to hear the work Kate is doing, and just being able to be part of a conversation around Kenya moving forward in this field. Yeah. yeah. 
It was really amazing. So thank you so much for your contribution. Um, any other thing you would like to tell anybody watching in terms of uh, intellectual property? Well, I think uh, you really need to know what it is that you own. Create something that you, you, you're creating something that you love, but then create a way to know how to own what it is you've created and then to make money off it. There you have it from Wandiri. Thank you so much. Sante, Asante. VIP access. VIP access. With Aniko on Africa Loud.